Awesome. All, all good. Do you happen to know how this kanji is read? Yes. De Gucci. Perfect. De Gucci, which is exit. Can you read the sentence for me? Hi. <clears throat> sentence. Yo shinbo. Yo jinbo. Wa. Hi. Mo shio. Gabute. De Gucci e. Mukata. Hi. The uh, bodyguard put on his hat and he go uh, go, uh, go outside he go towards the exit specifically towards the exit yes he faces toward the exit and probably starts heading off over there do you remember how this could be read um it could be read at you may she you may she die yep you may she die nice so dai is how you kind of refer to like a cost of something. And I guess it's not on its own. It's normally attached to something. For example, this right here is daikin, which is actually how you just would say cost in general, like the, the money, the cost or whatever. Daikin, hi. Um, can you read this word for me? Harao. So harao has many meanings, and in the Pacific context, we'll be seeing it really soon, is the meaning of to pay a bill, harao. Um, literally, it's like to wipe away. So the idea is that if you have a bill, you're in debt, kind of, so you got to wipe away your debt. Might be like a way you can think about it. Because you can also use this for wiping other things. Uh, can you read the I... sentence for me? Dorobo wa daikin o haratta. Hi. The thief pay the cost. Perfect. Nice. So what if I wanted to say the magician paid the cost to the owner? Majitsushi wa jujin shujin to the owner. Shujin ni daiki o haratta. Perfect. Nice. And can you read this little clause for me? Neburi ga heya o detta. You know what this means? Neburi, he uh, he exited the room. Perfect. He exited the room. Um, do you happen to know this kanji? Soto. Perfect. Which means outside. So here we have a similar kanji, but rather than no, we have a knee here. Can you read the sentence for me? Hi, right. uh, right. what do you think this knee does to change the so, meaning? Uh, this knee is to go to, to towards the direction of outside. Right. He go towards the outside. Yep, so he goes outside. Who does? The Lord of Twilight goes outside. Perfect. And do you remember what Tairageta meant? Kino no pai no no kori o um tairageta. Tairageta is to complete that which is left over. Yep, to completely eat right? it. Yeah. So Complete this tai part right here, taira, is kind of the idea is that you get your plate flat. Is kind of where it comes from. So you have a mountain of food, and then the food becomes flat. Is kind of what it goes from. I see. Because taira specifically, which is a not adjective is a way to say flat, haida, or um, even ground. That, that's a good explanation. So to, to finish it off, yep. flatten it. Flatten out your plate. So you've seen the word um, chuba before. It's not, all right, what just, I just clicked some weird buttons. Sorry, I was just looking at that. Um, Tuba. Do you have to remember what a tuba was? It has to do with a bowl sheet. The tuba is the part of the bowl sheet where it's in the front. Yes. The visor. Or the back, depending on the kind of hat. It's it's like the rim area. So like a witch's hat, for example, would include the back. But it is just the visor if you're talking about a baseball cap. What do you I think tuba biroi means? I mean, tuba biro. Suba biro, biro could mean like a wide, yep, a widening so, of something, right? Yes. So this is a specifically a wide brim of a hat rather than a small one. So it insinuates rather than this side, it's probably more like you know, 
like a witch's hat um brim you know so a lot a Hi. lot bigger big Hi. do you remember how this kanji is read as um hi hi good guess it's actually tai the ta what does taira mean taira taira mean to finish off it can i'd be taira geru so that'd be the verb uh, what is the adjective this mean? this taira mean flat perfect can you read this little phrase for me yes taira na uh, suba subabiro no Mm, mm, boshi. Perfect. What do you think this means? Um, the brim of the hat, the wide brim of the hat. Yep. So basically, it's a hat that has a a brim that is wide. Is kind of what it says. Hi. Um, and our next word, teppen. Teppen means on top of one's head. Teppen. So let's go read this line from our book. That sounds like the word teppan from Lugan Lugan. He say It is related. It's like, um, what is it? I think it's like tech guy. Tech, tech. It's something. Uh, Gurren Longan's the name is to break the heavens. Teppen is around the heavens, right. as in like around your head, the top part of your head. So that's around and that's heaven. So it is this te this. is the is the same from the oh that shows up in like tenshi. Tenshi, which is angel. Tenshi. The ten. So the area around the head is called the teppen. Yep. Okay. So neburi wa teppen ga. Um, terana, tairana, suba, biro, no, boshio, kabute. So here's the first clause. It say, uh, he neburi, the, the area around the head of neburi, he put on, neburi put on a hat with a wide brim. Perfect. Flat, with a flat wide brim on yep. the area around his head. Yep. And then he, he deguchie mukai, he moved towards the direction of the outside. He heads towards the exit. And then he shujini kai daikin o harau to. He paid the, the cost to the owner. And following that, he suta suta to sota ni de da. He suta suta go yep. outside. Exactly. So suta suta is a sound effect for some kind of like brisk kind of walk. So basically, he kind of like walks pretty fast. He's doing like a fast walk here. Suta suta. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, now we're doing a kanji check from last week. Uh, um, these are all pretty easy, but I'll do this one. <laughs> okay, tachi ageta. Well, this is tachi ageta. This guy? Kozo koi. Yep, kozo koi. Do you happen to recognize this kanji? This is sen inside of sensei, but this, it in this case, it's saki. Correct, saki. So saki a lot of times has a meaning that kind of mean like the place you're aiming for a little bit. So it shows up, for example, in this word. Can you read it for me? This is ikisaki. Yep. This is literally the word destination. The So your forward location you're going to. Is there ikisaki? I have a quick question Yeah. about this iki. Sometime in songs, I hear they say yuki. Mm-hmm. So those are just interchangeable, right? I they, can pick and choose whichever I want. Basically, you can pick and choose. In general, you sounds like, I would say, like fancy. So that's why it's showing up in song stuff. Kind of like A-N. A-N is the normal way to say eternity. But you'll also but you'll hear Toa instead of songs. Because Toa is more dramatic. Yes. 
Um, so, so the Yuki is a little bit more oldie or dramatic or literally feeling just because it's not in the normal use. So I in see. a lot of cases, it is interchangeable. Same with like E. Sometimes you'll just see Yoi. Even I... though it normally we say E today, you, you can say Yoi. It is understandable. And sometimes people will use it instead to illustrate some kind of like oldish kind of feeling to something. I see. There is some sort of a sound shift. Yes, that is where that comes from. Yes sound to the e sound it seems yeah there there was uh okay Hi. so our next word is tazuneru when tazuneru has this kanji which you don't really need to know because the book doesn't use kanji um this is to ask somebody something i just have to point that out because there's a different tazuneru with this kanji which weirdly enough has eu in it but it does not mean to ask somebody this Tazuneru is to visit. <laughs> mm. So, but in general, you can tell by context. Is there a different connotation in terms of this ask, whereas the other ask is kiku? Kiku. Ki, kiku uh, tazuneru is like to implore, is more what it means than to ask. So, this is more um, polite, I would say. Um, so, the, the kind of idea is that with, like, yeah, it's, uh, it, it makes, like, the question less um, aggressive, I guess, but it's, it's pretty similar. In most contexts, if you're describing something, you could use either or, but it just, this feels more like to request a question to somebody versus Kiku is very much just to ask the question. Um but like for example, you wouldn't use tazuneru necessarily with a teacher, even though you normally would be more polite with a teacher. You do use kiku, but you'd probably tazuneru like, um, like maybe a hotel clerk or something. Like I don't know. <laughs> I see. Look at that. Understand. Yeah. I could definitely look for more um example sentences. Um, do you know how this guy's read? Uh, o, wareru. Yeah. Yep, or what it do. So, or what it do is to be chased, and this comes from the verb o, which is to chase. Um, what's the te form of tazuneru? Tazuneru, te form. It had this eru sound to it, so maybe it's a uru verb. It is a uru verb. It's tazuneru. Tazunete. Hi. Um, can you read this word for me? Hi. Um, oi kakeru. Hi. Oi kakeru. So this is basically to chase after somebody. To this is kind of like the kakeru we've seen quite a bit to like pour something on something. So this is like the catch up. You Hi. kind of attack yourself as you're chasing somebody, and this is. Aru verb, oi kakeru, oi kaketa. Yeah. Anyway, let's go read the sentence from the book. はい。行き先もいわないわけ。どこへ行くんだよ。これはおいかけて始めた。First part is a question, and the question is, Ikisaki mo iwanai wake. What is the reason for not uh, iwanai? Iwa, iw, what is this the This might be iwanai, it's iu, which also has this kanji, might make it more recognizable, which then became anai. Which added the W. You, you and I. So to not speak. Yep. To not so, say. What is he not saying? So even that which is to go ahead, even to go ahead, you did not say to go ahead. 
That's a good guess. So Ikisaki is ahead. not to go ahead. Do you remember what I told you what Ikisaki meant? I totally forgot. It was destination. So it's saying, and so Wake is like in this context, I would translate as in other words. He's basically he's made a conclusion based off of the fact that nobody just stood up and started leaving the room without saying anything. So in other words, you're not saying the destination as well. So he's basically saying you're not talking at all. And then what does so, Khan say? He said then, "Doko e ikunda yo? Where are you going?" Right. And then he say, and then he uh, "Ore wa oe kakete." He chase. He be in chase after. He be in chase by uh, uh, dasu ne dasu. What was the last thing the main character just did? Doko e ikunda yo. He asked, he implored, he implored, he asked the question. Um, but before he asked the question, he ore wa oi kakete. He chased after Neburi and caught up with him. Asked, and he asked the question. He caught up to Neburi and he asked the question. Perfect. And what was this first sentence right here? Ikisaki mo iwanai wake. Wake here meaning, um, in other words, you're not going to tell where you're going. Yep. In other words, you're not going to tell me what our destination is, are you? Do you remember how this is read? This is um. Hmm. This kanji is like uh, mesuki. What is mesuki? What is he doing to his eye? Good is guess. The, uh, mesuki is like the look in your eyes. Mesuki is the look in the eye. And the word that come before it modifies it. Yep. So uh, the glow in his Good in guess. His this eyes. is surudoi. Surudoi, which is sharp. Sharp. Right. You can also has... use this, of course, with knives. <laughs> Pens are sharp. But in this case, so, it's metaphorical, just like in English. He has a sharp a look sharp, in his eyes. Surudoi. Surudoi. Right, surudoi. Um, do you know how this kanji is read? Kanji, susumu. Hi, susumu. What is susumu's te form? Susumu te form. So, susute, susute. Good guess. So, no, susumu. No, 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 no. Does start it's with susumu. Oops, I just headphones fell off. Sorry about that. Um, susunde. Cool. Could you say that again? Oh, susunde. Perfect. Susunde. There you go. <laughs> okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Hi. Neburi wa kino to onachi surudoi metsuki de ore o. Chirato Mita Dakedo Mita Dake de Nanimo Iwazuni Zunzun Susunda Susunde Iku. Okay. Okay. So first we have Nebriwa Kino to Onaji Sudoi Metki de Oreo Chide Chirato Mita. So he saw. Uh, he looked at. Shirat. He looked at. Oreo. He looked at me. And in what way is he looking? He chirato. Meaning. Uh, he he looked at. He looked at me in what way? I'm sorry. Chirato. So chira is a very common sound effect, which means to kind of peek at somebody. So he's not just 
staring at him without blinking and staring straight into his soul, which would be ji, ji to mita. Uh, Mitsumeru would probably would actually would go there. This way here instead insinuates he's probably walking and he kind of looks at him for a second, maybe looks away and looks back, kind of of that peeking at somebody. Glance. So he, he peeks at glances. me. Yeah, he throws glances exactly. And in what way I, is he throwing the glances? What kind of glances are you throwing? Is the onaji surudoi mitsuki that it's uh, similar to a sharp glare or a sharp look? He say onaji I mean similar to or the same as a sharp look. That's a good guess. The onaji takes the particle to. That's why there's a to here. So it's kino to onaji. Just like yesterday. Exactly. Um, just like the sharp look of yesterday. Nobody gave me uh, sharp glances. What is it this dake de is telling us? Dake. We know that dake is only or except yep. for. Yep. So uh, except for is the shika. Dake is the only. So the only thing he Dake did was glance at me um, with his sharp eyes just like yesterday. And what else? And so that's all he did. He nanimo iwazu. Nanimo is nothing. Iwazu is um, iwanai. Hi. Right? Yep. The ni at the end is just like we say with with nothing. Yes. Or in that way. What is the verb eu? We saw this is earlier. Eu. Oh, this mm. is iwa iwa. So it's eu. So without saying anything, exactly. without speaking. So he says, without speaking, all he did was glance at me with a sharp look in his eyes, just like yesterday, and without saying anything, what did he do? Soon, soon. Um, you don't soon, need soon. that. What is the sun? He go really fast away. He just keep going. Zun, zun. That's that's pretty close to what it would mean. Um, I think, yeah, he, it doesn't that quickly. And iku, iku just mean he going away from me. Yeah, because I have to chase after him. Hey, where are we going? <laughs> Um, do you know what okureru means? Okureru is to oku, to arrive. Um, Eyes, I arrive. No? That'd be something else. Um, tuku is arrive. I feel like there might be an arrive that has similar to that. Um, but this right here, okureru oku. is to be late. Oh, hi, hi. Okureru. Oku. To be late. And it is a do verb. Um, do you know how this kanji is read? This kanji is uh this is stacking up. Mm, it looks like that, but it's not stacking. no no this means light stacking lightly. lightly softly. Hi. Uh I forgot this reading. This is karuku, karuku kidobasu. He kicks me lightly. Karuku. Karuku. Karuku kidobasu. What is the nai form of okureru to be late? The nai form of okureru. Okurerana. Okurana. The nai form. This root verb, so I drop the root. Okurenai. Perfect. Okurenai. Nice. So you've seen in the past, yoni used for the purpose of basically meaning like. For example, misuterareta yoni wabishikata. Wretched as if it had been abandoned. Yoni can have a second meaning. So the most, the default meaning, which is where you'll, where you'll, where almost all of it could possibly mean is the as if. And then there's a very specific meaning which is going to show up over here. But before that, do you happen to recognize this kanji? 
Aruku. Good guess. Aruku, and this is very similar in meaning, totally different kanji. Here's the Aruku kanji up ah, here, which is to walk. To, okay. So this one is um to run. A, yes, this is to run. What's to run in Hashiru. Japanese? Yep, hashiru. Nice. So this yoni is not as if. This yoni is basically means in order to. Um wait. Sorry. Yoni in order to. Ba basically. Uh it it's also like as if in this ca context. Uh, it's like a little bit of both. But uh, can you read it for me? So, oku, okurenai yoni ni dorobo wa hashita. 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 So, so as not to be late, the thief ran. Yes. This could also be running as if he does as if not to be late is the other possible meaning. Both of those meanings, it has to do with context, which meaning would be. Um and um and in this case, I guess it's kind of like the metaphoric meaning <laughs> rather than the actual for meaning. You know what? Um that is not what the word was supposed to be. So I'm actually gonna go backwards. Okay, do you remember this kanji? How do we read it? Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> light. Um, it's ka karuku. Ruku. Yep. Karuku. Perfect. Karuku. Karuku. And can you read? Now you get to go read the line from the book. Good. Hi. Chetsu. Ch 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 He's like, like, kind of is like, whatever, kind of a thing. Yeah, right? that's shika, a shikata ganai. Shikata ganai is whatever. Shikata ganai. There's Nothing no helping it. And yeah. Uh, ore wa okure nai yoni. Um, kaya kaku, karuku. 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 Right. Haruku hashite. Suite ita. Okay, so he's saying, Ore wa ai okure na yo ni, so as not to be late. Um, kuruk, karuku, lightly, hashte suite, to follow, to run and follow. Hi. Ita. I was. So, so. Um, so, so. So, ukure nai does mean to be late, but in this context, it, it can also mean to fall behind. <laughs> so, it's in order to not fall behind. Uh, so, th th that's why the <laughs> translation started sounding weird. <laughs> uh, I see. It, it has both those meanings. It does mean to be late, but it can also, but I guess both meanings work. To but be, in English, it sounds weird. <laughs> So, so can I try this again? So yeah. he's saying, um, I was catching up by running lightly. Right. Yep. So as not to be so as not to fall behind. Exactly. And, be and before that there was a sentence that said this I can't do anything about this. Yep. And then he followed by There's no helping it. I have um, to run after. Okay. Yep. So karuku for like light running, it kind of means like he's running like nimbly kind of, like he's light on his feet. It's kind of what it means rather than right. just like stomping. Like, he's running on his tip, on his the toe of his of his foot. <laughs> Maybe. But, um, but yeah, kind, kind of that illu when... illustration because he's like a thief. Right. <laughs> he, he, he run on the, um, the ball of his foot so as to be yeah. fast. Exactly. Um, and this ita right here is kind of being used to tell us we're changing our location. Hmm. Uh, it, but specifically saying, I am leaving our current location and I'm not coming back is what it means in this context because the subject is ore wa. So if this is, so with ita, that means I am leaving and not coming back. 
is basically what that is telling us. Um, if it said uh. Kudu here, that would mean I'm leaving, but I will come back to this location. So if he was like, I want to go to the toilet, for example, it's more often you'd end that with um, itte kudu rather than itte iku. Because Iteku would be like, I'm going to the bathroom, but I'm going to probably jump out the window. Bye bye. You know, kind of insinuation. So that, that's what that's doing in this context. So that's like the oh, first so this person. It, meaning. This Ita is the root is Iku, is not right. Iru. Yes. Iru uh, would be Ita without the glottal stop. I got it wrong. I misinterpreted that Ita I know. as Iru earlier. Uh, what? How's this guy read? Um, it, it's a sharp look, so it's a Let's start with su. Surudoi. Hi. So, surudoi. Perfect. Surudoi. And what does ikisaki mean? Ikisaki. Ikisaki. Right. Ikisaki is the destination. Perfect. And what's this word up there? The word is uh, karu. Karuku. Yep. Karuku. Lightly. Perfect. And this is something from a while ago. Do you happen to remember this kanji? Tori. Hi, tori, which is street. Perfect. So this, when we have tori in with like as a name of a street, rather than being tori, it actually gets the rendaku. So this actually becomes dori. How do you think you could read this? Yubi tsuri dori. Hi, kubi. Kubi tsuri dori. So kubi tsuri is like um hanging, but like specifically as in like you're hanging someone to die, like the suicide or at the gallows kind of hanging, not like hanging your bag on something, which is why the neck's here. So hanging a neck. Kubi. <laughs> So this is called uh, Street of Hanging Neck. Uh, so in this book, all the street names are just kind of like dark like this um, or silly, kind of nonsensical weird names. Um, in the English version, I think it was like Strangle Street, but I I'm not sure. Um, can you read this for me? Hi, this one is Sasu uh, Rai Dori. Hi. So this is the street, wandering street. So the meanings behind these don't really matter. So when you're reading it, you can just say street of Kubitsuri or something like that. Because this is just the name of a street. You know, like saying, oh, I'm on 4th Avenue or something. It, it's not the meaning doesn't really matter. Um, yes. Okay. So let's go read the line from the book. Okay. Neburi wa Kutsuri no, kubitsuri dori kara. So, neburi. Uh, I would read the whole the, thing. Hi. Uh, sasurai dori e to susunda. So, uh, neburi continue towards the. Um, he continue from the. Uh, Kubitsuri Street to the Sasurai Street. Perfect. Nice. And do you know how to read this word? Usugurai. Hi, Usugurai. This is like dim, but more in a gloomy kind of way. It's slightly dim. Usugurai. usugurai. So now your job is to remember this Usu. Utsu. Usu. Can you read the sentence for me? Roji to you toji wa utsugurai. Roji, not toji. Roji to you roji wa utsugurai. Hi, what is this? All the mean? alleys. All the alleys are, are glim, or Hi. gloomy. Gloomy, perfect. So, kuzure kakeru is to be crumbling, kind of. To be bad shape. This is a do verb. Can you read this for me? Kuzure kakeru. Kuzure kaketa 
言えば薄暗い。はい。The crumbling house is、uh, gloomy. Perfect. Nice. So, you, if you know quite a bit of kanji, you've probably seen this one before for sagasu, which is to search for something. In our book, we're using this kanji right here, which is less popular in use. This kanji is just more specific, being basically that you're looking for something like that you have、um, lost, kind of. So, you kind of have an idea what you're looking for. Versus looking for something that's important or something you want to land in your hands or something. So, if you like drop your wallet, for example,、uh, you would use this one because it's something that you've lost. So, the idea is that you know exactly what you're looking for with that sagasu.、Um, so,、はい、let's go read the sentence. So, Nanika sagashiteru no ka? I'm going to come back with a question about that, the that's, no kanji. Yeah, I'll explain that yeah. afterwards. <laughs> Kuzu, Hi, so this is pronounced as ten when it's married. However, it's actually single right now. The only thing behind it is an adjective. Do you know how it might be read? So, this is a store.、Hi. A store is、um, store is、um, uh, I lost it. It's mise. Mise. Hi. Mise. That's right. Hi. So, the most important so, part of this sentence is this part. Kuzure kaketa ie ya usugurai mise o tia tira to miteiru. And then I'll explain、so、the no look, call later. I am looking at the Mise, the store. And the store is Usugurai, the gloomy store. So, so I'm looking at the gloomy store, among other things, right? Yes. This ya, this ya is like this and something else.、Mm -hmm. uh, and what is. Let's say it says kuzuregake. That's basically like crumbling、so、this, or broken down houses. Broken down house. Hi. So I'm looking, at, I'm looking at two things. I'm looking at the broken down houses. Well, specifically, you're looking at more than two things. We're only listing two of those things. Exactly. Hi. We, we, all, we listed here, but he was glancing at many things. So, so. So, in the context of our story, normally it is normally I in the story. Right now, we're actually talking about Nevery. So,、yeah. um, so, we're talking about Nevery, which is why we got Nanaka Sakashiteru no ka, which is basically, is, is he looking for something, kind of, or as if he's looking for something? He is staring at, he's glancing at the dim stores and the, the, Broken down buildings. So, this is just describing the way he's looking at stuff. So, this ka is like, is an embedded question, and it's being used here to say, like, the main character is like, not sure what Nebody's doing right now. So, he makes a conclusion. He's kind of answering his own question. So, well, like, is he looking for something? He's glancing at the different houses right now, is kind of what it's saying. I see. So the right interpretation here would be this is he rhetorically asked himself a question. Basically. And then he answered his own question. Well, kind of. I think I described that badly. But, but, but so this right here is what Nebody is physically doing. And this is like the question he asked in his head to himself, kind of off of that. You could also kind of say this is his interpretation. Of what nobody is doing, and he's just not sure if it's a correct interpretation. So you could translate it as Is he looking for something? He keeps on looking at the houses weirdly, 